Hello boys and girls, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to read you a story called The Teeny Weeny Tadpole. I'll make sure that I show you all the pictures, don't worry. But you might not be able to see them right away because remember Miss Jen has to read it and be able to see the words. The Teeny Weeny Tadpole swam in and out of the lily pads. Splish, splash, Hello, my busy little tadpole, said Mummy Frog. It's such a nice day for spa splashing and leaping. There's that page. And here's this page. Can you see all the baby tadpoles and their eggs still? Mummy Frog jumped high into the air. Flippity flop, she landed with a plop. I can do that, said the teeny teeny weeny tadpole, and he tried to leap onto a lily pad. All he managed was a splish and a splash. Mom, why can't I jump like you, asked the weeny tadpole. Oh, you will, Tadpole, said Mummy Frog. Just keep splishing and splashing. The teeny weeny Tadpole swam off downstream. Be careful, Tadpole, called Mummy Frog. Look out for the big bad fish. Oh, sorry. Teeny weeny tadpole wiggled his way to the edge of the stream to splash among the water lilies. He looked up and saw a woolly face with a smudgy nose. Hello, said Tadpole. Who are you? I'm Lamb, said the woolly faced animal. Can you jump past Tadpole? You bet, said Lamb. Watch this. Boing! Springy spoing! Lamb jumped high into the air. He landed with a boing. Oh, said the teeny weeny tadpole. I wish I could jump like that. Oh, you will, tadpole, said Lamb. Soon you will. Here's the other page. A few days later, the teeny weeny tadpole paddled downstream to where the violets tickled his tummy. He looked up and saw a twitchy nose and the largest pair of ears he'd ever seen. Hello, said Tadpole. Who are you? I'm Rabbit, said the twitchy nosed animal. Can you jump past Tadpole? Can I jump, said Rabbit. Watch this. It's a purple rabbit, everybody. Have you ever seen a purple rabbit? I don't think so. Boing! Jumpity jump! Rabbit jumped high into the air. Rabbit landed with a thump. Bang! Thump! Wow! said the teeny weeny tadpole. I wish I could jump like that. Oh, you will, tadpole, said Rabbit. Very soon you will. Do you remember what tadpoles turn into? You'll find out soon. Several days later, the teeny weeny tadpole swam out to where the tall grass waved in the wind. He saw a pair of bug eyes and two springy legs. Hello, said Tadpole, who are you? I'm Grasshopper, said the buggy eyed creature. Can you jump past Tadpole? Of course, said Grasshopper. Watch this. Can you see? Boing, hippity hop. Grasshopper jumped high into the air. 
grasshopper landed with a bop. Whoa, said the teeny weeny tadpole. I wish I could jump like that. Oh, you will, tadpole, said grasshopper. Very soon you will. The next time the teeny weeny tadpole went exploring, he swam far out to where the stream widened and the water became still. Tadpole looked down and saw a pair of huge rubberly, rubbery lips. Hello, said, Poole, said Tadpole. Who are you? Hello, boomed the rubbery slip creature. I'm the big bad fish and I eat tadpoles. Oh no. What do you think is going to happen, folks? We're going to find out. The big bad fish chased the teeny weeny tadpole. And down and in and out of the weeds, getting closer and closer until. Uh oh. Do you think he's going to get him? I sure hope not. Oh no. Look at his big mouth. Teeny Weeny Tadpole leaped high into the air, higher than lamb, higher than rabbit, and higher than grasshopper. He leaped all the way home. Look, Bummy, said Tadpole, I can jump, just like you. His mother smiled proudly. Of course you can, my little frog. <gasps> he turned into a frog. Did you know that? Did you know tadpoles turned into frogs? Wow. The end. There's all the little baby tadpoles and their eggs again. Goodbye, my friends. I hope you liked the story, and I'll read you another one next week, okay? Bye!